Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you find the video helpful and useful in your designing process. If this is your first time to the channel, I greatly appreciate you stopping by. I hope you find the video useful. If you're a return viewer, thanks again for watching the videos and uh, hopefully they're helping you in your designing process. And if you'd hit that subscribe button, that'd be awesome. <laughs> and if you're a subscriber already and a return viewer, again, the support, the comments has been absolutely outstanding. Thank you very much for everything. I really appreciate it. It's, it's, it's extremely humbling. Uh, today, I thought I would... Uh, show a little bit about emboss so this is going to be just a uh, kind of a real quick video i'm not going to spend a lot of time uh making this exactly how i would but i do want to go through and show you some things uh and this is uh, kind of what we're going to do we're going to kind of make a, a little bear uh this is the picture that i i pulled off uh the net uh, so uh oh okay uh you know, I just pulled a picture off a teddy bear holding a heart since it's Valentine's Day. So I'm going to go back here. Uh, these are the curves we want. And what I did is I I drew the curves out, right, uh, around everything. Because I want them set at different heights. Uh, and that's kind of, you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. But I, I did the head as one part. And I used some of the heart for the extrusion there. Uh, and then, uh, of course, the eyes, the eyebrows, the ears, a little patch of hair that it had, uh, the heart, of course. And again, we shared the, the um, curve there. So we split it and sh uh, duped that and uh, joined them together so they're two separate. They're sharing that curve. Uh, and then, of course, the little paws on the bottom of the feet and stuff like that. Uh, so uh, today's emboss day, uh, it's going to be a introduction. I'm not going to spend a lot of time going through and making it exactly how I would, uh, I just want to kind of show you the commands and this, sh this should do it, I hope. So what we want to do is we want to go to clay you, of course, and we want to open the emboss. So we'll just click on emboss and it'll put a, a grid out there. Now you have uh, several options here. So we'll talk about those. Uh, a mesh just creates an open surface with no thickness and it being a mesh, of course. Uh, thickness, well, you can specify the thickness, how, how thick you want it. It'll kind of be like a hollow type thing, I guess. But it's not uh, uh, just one surface. It'll it'll have thickness to it, however you specify it. Uh, symmetry, symmetry, symmetry. Uh, it'll be the same on both sides, basically. Uh, and then core, you'll just have a flat bottom on it, and that's the one we're going to actually choose today. Uh, you can delete the base, which will. Uh, so when I, you know, if I wanted this and I hit delete base, it'll just keep this part and get rid of all this box other stuff around it. It'll just keep that part, which is what you kind of want for most things. Uh, cap distance, I'm going to leave it at one millimeter. Um, this will. You can click in here. Uh, and scroll to uh, make your size. And you can come back to this setting at any time if you need be. It's it's not something that's uh, set in stone. So you can, you can come back and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, this is for your resolution. Higher resolution will take longer to process. Lower resolution will not be as good, but uh, uh, you'll be able to see everything. It'll update pretty quickly. Uh, I'll, I'll set it around a 13 uh settings uh just kind of the settings in there uh, you can also choose what kind of color you want the the base to be so you can kind of really change it to whatever your liking is uh so we'll just leave it at brass for right now uh show bounding bots and i'm also going to make sure that the assistance clicked on for right now if you're new to emboss this will kind of help a little bit just kind of shows you which what's what you need to do next type thing uh so we're going to go ahead and just accept these settings here and i'll just hit click i'll just click uh on the check so there now the emboss uh pops up um now here you have um to add uh operation to add an operation uh and this will be a refresh you'll, this these two are what you'll well these three here are what you'll be using the most uh add operation refresh and then to hide something 
Uh, this is for placing an image. You can import images. Black and white images are the best. Uh, and then you can also do height-filled images. So those two keys, we'll, we'll go over at a later date. And this is what you'll do if you need to come back and redo any kind of settings. Uh, so, you know, you can always come back and redo the settings. Uh, and then these, you won't use too much. Close it out and then uh, finalize your project. All right. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my picture and I'm going to think, okay, what, what is the highest part in my picture? Uh, probably the, the legs, right? The legs and maybe the, the head type area. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, work with the legs first. So I'll go ahead and start an operation. And right here, you can click and you have all different kinds of commands. Uh, you have uh, by profile, you have extrude, you have uh, jump by, based on geometry if you're going to use something else to uh, base your object off of, uh, like a, another a NURB surface or something you're going to use with it. You can do that. That's a whole nother game. We'll talk about that later. Uh, revolve. Um, Texture, of course, stamp, carbon copy that you'll use with pictures, uh, and then some other commands, uh, brush, and smooth, uh, which we won't, you, we'll just use the smooth inside here. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on profile, and it places, uh, I have to, it's asking me, see, the cyst, with the cyst on, it's telling me I need to pick a curve, and I need to refresh. So uh, first of all, I'm going to pick a curve. I'm going to pick those uh, legs there, all right? And then I'm going to click on there. So now they're inputted, uh, that curve is inputted into my uh, operation, right? Uh, and of course, nothing happens except the profile comes out. Now... I guess I should show this. Uh, see the profiles out long like this. Uh, if you go ahead and hit refresh, you'll see the what it what it's doing. And with it, when it's long, what it does is it kind of keeps that more of a rounded type area. But if you drag it back, uh, and you can drag it here, or you can do it here. We'll just hit refreshing it. Now you can see it changes it. So this will give it more roundness, I guess. Uh, so you can kind of play around with those however you, you want them uh, uh, made or whatever. We're going to drag that up just a little bit more, uh, something like that. And, our, of course, our bounding box will uh, update with it. Uh, so something like that uh, to get started, I guess. Uh, and we'll just keep on moving uh, forward. I don't want to take up too much of your time. So now, uh, the, you know, nothing's flashing, but so you need to add another operation. Before we add the operation, I want to hide that gumball because I don't need 15 gumballs out there. Uh, it'll be distracting. And, of course, I have my gumball down here turned off because that's kind of distracting as well when you're working uh, on stuff like this. So we'll just take that. Now, next part, What's what's the next part that might, stand out you know would be maybe the hands here uh, we want them over the heart so i'm just kind of going in height down to uh, lowness uh well before i do that though uh, i'm going to go ahead and click my eye which will hide all the geometry out there and then i'm going to select these here and then i'm going to add a command and again i want it pretty sharp not not real sharp but uh, maybe these should be, I don't know, extruding out, perhaps. Uh, so we'll we'll extrude them out. Now this will add to the surface you have already put out there. Okay, uh, so you it'll pop out of the surface above the surface that you just used. If you hit refresh, you can see it pops out there, right? So now we have those, all right. And you can adjust that. Like I said, I'm not going to take a lot of time, but. Uh, there's a lot of things, uh, you know, it, it looks pretty raunchy right now, but wait, uh, you'll see. Uh, there's a lot to do in here. Uh, so we'll just take that, and then again, I'm going to hide my uh, gumball just so I can. I'm going to turn that off. Uh, so the next thing I want to do is grab this one, add an operation, uh, and you can change curves uh, just by clicking on here. You can pick different curves. You can also make your own curve by hitting or, or adjust it. Uh, and then giving it a name and saving it. Uh, so there's quite a bit you can do with the curves. Uh, so you can make your own or uh, right here, uh, add profile from curves. So you have a curve out here. 
uh, and then uh, you add it to your profiles with this button here uh, and then you can uh, edit profile you just click on a spot you can drag it around however you want the profile to be and then you just give it a name and save it uh, so there's all kind of options there uh, and then in this box here you can you can give it you can type in the height and everything uh it auto smooth it'll automatically smooth some of it off uh uh inflate uh inflate is kind of interesting uh inflate uh, this option calculates the profile exactly to the center of the curve which is applied the uh, three options non inflate and none uh, inflate and uh, inflate by curve. So you have three different options in there. Uh, inflate calculates profiles for all the curves together. Uh, so it's it's uh, you can play around with that. Uh, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on this. I'm just going to mostly keep it to none. Uh, if you that's another button that's really important. Uh, if you have a circle and you want the inside of the circle not there, you can click on this and it'll take away the inside circle and keep away the outside circle, uh, which is a whole nother game. Um, but we'll just stick with our drawing here today. And like I said, it's going to be, you know, I'm not going to spend a lot of time. I've already probably taken up too much of your time. So uh, let's go ahead and adjust that a little bit and let's refresh it. And we want to drag those up uh, a little bit. So let's refresh it again. You have to hit refresh after every time. Uh, and I'll drag it down. So uh, just kind of get it to close to where you want it. Uh, and now I'll hide that gumball and add another operation. We'll pick his head. I'll go ahead and add another one operation. And this one uh, we want to uh, drag in a little bit. Uh, and maybe up a little, and then we'll hit refresh. You can always uh, manipulate those uh, more. Uh, and then I'll hide that gumball. Right now, I'm like I said, I'm just getting the shape. So I'll hide everything so I can see. Uh, we need to grab his nose there. So let's grab his nose, and that'll add to the geometry that we already have out there. Uh, and we'll make it kind of sharp nose, I guess. And uh, we'll just see what that does. Okay, there's our nose. All right, and then I'll hide that and I'll turn off that gumball and we'll just keep moving around. We'll take, uh, did I do this already? Let's see, let's turn back everything on. No, okay. So let's, I should have probably grabbed this first. Uh, let's add operation and uh, let's drag that in and we'll just hit refresh. There we go. It's got a little bump up there. All right, and we'll go keep on moving. Turn off that. Turn off everything so we can see it. We have the nose. We have this part. We have this part. Uh, let's grab his hair here. And we'll add an operation. And we'll drag this one in. Kind of, we want it kind of straight up, kind of. And we'll see what that it does for us. Okay, so we got his hair there. And let's turn off that. And let's uh, go into the eyes here. Uh, this one, we'll take the eyes and the ears, and we'll add operation, and we'll drag that in. And, uh, and this one, what we'll do is we'll go in here and we'll hit actually subtract. We want to subtract from it, so we'll, we'll add that in. So now it has indentations there, right? I'm going to hide that gumball. Uh, this one... I could probably drag it down just a little bit more and let's refresh. You'll be hitting refresh a ton, uh, just so that it gives us a little more indentation there. Uh, and then I'll hide everything again. I'll grab his eyebrows here, maybe. Let's refresh, all right. And then hide that and grab his, no, grab his eyebrows. No, oh, there we go, okay. Well, let me grab this out. Let's turn off this. There we go. And let's add a profile. And these we want kind of standing straight up. And let's hit refresh. And they are standing up okay. <laughs> uh, and his nose is pretty huge out. But don't worry about that too much because there's a lot you can do with it later. Uh, so we'll go ahead and take all that. Uh, we'll hide that gumball now. And uh, you... 
Yeah, you don't have to worry too much. Uh, there's other things we can do, which you'll see in a second. And we'll hit this. And let's see, this one, we want it to have a little bit of a, a roundness to it. So we'll keep it out a little bit. We'll hit refresh. Uh, we probably need it a little bit more than that, though. So let's drag it up, hit refresh, something like that. So he's holding the heart there, right? And it looks kind of gross right now, but don't worry. Uh, again, I'm not going to spend a lot of time getting it all perfect. Uh, I just want to kind of show off everything. And do we forget anything? Oh, oh we got to put a mouth and uh, that little underneath your... I forget what it's called, the little thing there and then the mouth. But we'll do all that in another. We'll do that with sculpting. So I'm just going to, for the sake of time, just go ahead and select this, okay? Uh, you know, you could sit here and play around with it a little bit more and, and get it a little more to your liking or whatever. Uh, but we'll just go ahead and take that. And I would spend a little bit more time. So we'll just accept this, all right? And it'll give us our... Uh, item our mesh out there right so now what we do is we go into sculpt uh, and we activate sculpt and we click on our mesh and hit enter and then we have the the sculpt uh, menu pop up and if you go down to plastic and turn on plastic uh, everything will uh, turn red and probably at this point we probably want to go ahead and minimize some of these because the sides don't really do as too much good for the most part uh, keep the the top uh, in perspective uh, maybe larger so you can kind of see. Now, the, at, at, as default, uh, your um, brush will come on, right? So if you don't, you can't remember what these, don't worry. Don't click on sculpt, but if you hit the box there, you can see that, that one's uh, sculpt, which is not on there. This is your brush, and it'll uh, actually add or subtract to uh, your geometry uh, and the crease will make uh, little creases in it uh, flatten flatten of course inflate means it'll uh, balloon it out a little bit uh, pinch kind of draws them together moves the things together so like that if you're wanting to do hair uh, you draw you you know put decreases in it with your uh, brush and then maybe go back and pinch them together so it looks they're closer together we'll do a little bit of that just so you can see uh, smoothness uh, drag will drag the geometry you don't really want to do a lot of dragging i i don't think and then twist will twist it and those two are maybe stay away with it, uh, for a while until you really get good with it uh, but the first thing you want to do is smooth, uh, smooth everything out, right? Because it's pretty rugged, right? And then over here in your box, <clears throat> in your box, you have uh, several different things. The ones you want to really focus on is uh, radius and intensity. Okay, the radius will control the size of your brush. Okay, that's the white little circle out there is our brush. So that'll... Uh, decrease or increase the size of our brush and the intensity is how much effect if you have it real high it'll do real real quick uh very strong uh, yes that's a good way to put it strong and weak so strong and weak whatever command you're using so if like if i'm using uh, the brush command and I, i'm putting it on negative and i have it way up here it is going to cut real deep real quick so you want to be cautious play around with this uh, uh, first and then your brush size depending on what you're doing you want you'll want to either have a larger brush uh, or maybe you want a real fine brush okay so to begin with we're going to take something kind of mediocre and we're going to keep our tent i don't want to really go at it too hard to start with uh, but i do want to smooth some things out so we'll just kind of uh, go in here and we'll just as you oh see what i did is i didn't uh i didn't have that on i just undone uh, i had it on my brush uh, which is uh, actually right here I have it at decrease so it was taking away right uh, so you want to go to smooth to start with probably so kind of just s flow it on there and you can see it's starting to smooth everything out right and if you go around everything it'll just smooth everything out make it nice and oh there we go yeah now it's starting to come to life right 
uh so you can let's go up here in our perspective uh and just kind of go around it and smooth everything out and see how i'll take those the eyebrow i wasn't really too worried about those eyebrows now my ears are going away but that's okay uh i can always recut them so just kind of go around and smooth everything out again i'm not going to uh you know make it perfect or anything i'm just going to go in here real quick and kind of show you different things so the smoothness going around just kind of getting everything kind of nice and smoothed off I want some of those edges there because it's, he's supposed to be hairy, right? So I, I want it to kind of look like hair. And go in here and smooth out my heart. Go in there, clean that up a little bit. Go over here. Clean up up here. Right? So, okay, we'll just uh, go ahead and take that. It looks like I lost my hair there, too, unfortunately. But that's okay, because we can always bring it back. Uh, so, we got something like this, right? Uh, now, if I go to my brush, and I leave it... So, now it's going to be a positive, right? And I'm going to take my intensity up. And uh, since it got rid of my hair, I want to kind of bring back some of that hair that it had up here. So, I'm just going to go in here and just start... Uh, adding back to this where it was right so you can see i'm adding on to it giving him a little hair on top and if you look over here you can see it's it's building up right so it's bringing back what uh, what was lost And you just kind of play around with that. And now I'm going to go back to smooth. And I'm going to turn my intensity down. And I'm going to make my brush a little larger. And then just kind of smooth it off a little bit. See? See, now I, I got that little bump back. Uh, but uh, I don't have the uh, ridges. It's not as bad. Now I can go back and I can go to negative and make my brush kind of small and make it a intensity a little bit more maybe uh and then i can go in here and maybe a little bit smaller and just kind of go back and turn up my intensity and i can just go back and forth kind of drag in on that edge there I'll turn up my intensity more just so we can speed things up. Like I said, normally you 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 want to take some time, but you don't want to overdo it, right? I'm just trying to give him what looks like little hair up here. So cut it in a little bit. Maybe make that brush just a little bit bigger. There we go. Just kind of dragging it so it kind of looks like there's hair. Every time I push down, it's activating it. And then I can go back to my smoothness and make sure my smoothness is kind of uh, down because I don't want to take away everything I just did and then kind of smooth it out just a little. So it looks like he's got some hair there. Now we'll go back to our brush and we'll take our intensity up. We'll keep it at negative and we want to maybe uh, get those eyes a little bit better so kind of and then just start clicking a little just off and on click 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 off and on and it's going to negative so it's bringing back my eyes actually it's adding two what's going on it should be negative oh that's my eyebrows <laughs> all right so we'll go back to smooth here and we'll just kind of smooth that off a little bit. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. All right. Okay. And to give him a little definition there by the hairline, you know, go to your a brush, make sure it's on negative, make your brush a little bit smaller, 
bring this up and then you can just go in there and give it a definition kind of go so it's taken away it's making that hairline look like it's you know more pronounced right There we go, yeah. Make my brush a little bit bigger here. Yeah, uh, and then you can again go back to your brush, turn it down, turn this up a little bit, just to smooth it out. There. Now his hair is kind of a, you know, it's got that little bump there, right? Uh, and you just kind of keep on working around everything. Uh, let's see, we got a negative. We're on our brush. And I got a big, big, huge brush. So we want to take that down. Here's the eye. Uh, and back out of there a little. There we go. And I'll just start clicking off and on. Let's turn up our intensity. So I get better action going on. More cut per, per click. And you can see it's dropping that eye down in there give me a nice round circle right i'm not moving it i'm just clicking my mouse uh right mouse button on and off so it's digging down in there and then we'll come over here and dig down into this one just clicking on and off and it's just cutting away at it little by little which is kind of what you want right All right, so something like that. And then let's go to, uh, let's inflate it. So now it will add two and we'll drop our cursor down a little bit because we lost our eyebrows. So we'll, and we'll drag that up a little bit and we'll give him his eyebrows back again. So I'll just keep dragging back and forth here, adding to this area. Build it up quite a bit because when we go back with smooth, it'll take a lot of that off. Just keep building it up, building it up, and then going over to the other side, give him that eyebrow back. Keep building it up, building it up. You can make it however shape you want. And then you can go to smooth, and I'll take that intensity way down, and I'll crank up my brush a little bit, and just, just give it a swipe over. Smooth some of that off. There. Now we got his eyebrows back, and you can go in here and smooth out that eye. Smooth out that eye. Right? Uh, and then now the ears, again, you'll probably go back to your brush, take a negative. You know, you want to uh, make the cut. So kind of just go in there, turn up our intensity a little. Get a cut in there. Go over to the other ear. Get some cut in there. Go back to your brush. Turn down the intensity. Make sure it's on brush. And then maybe a little bit larger. And then kind of just smooth that off. Just kind of smooth that off. Right, so he's starting to come together. Now we maybe his nose, we want his nose to be a little bit bigger, right? So we want to add to. Uh, well, actually, it looks pretty big already. Uh, let's let's take that nose down just a little. Yeah, there we go. And now let's add to it. Not that big. <laughs> something, yeah, something like that. And then take the intensity up so we can get some growth going on here and we'll just give him a nice little nose right and then we'll go back to our smoothness and we'll take that smoothness down but we'll bump up the the, the size of our cursor and it's kind of round it off now you know you can see it's not really blended in too well right so what you can do is go to a smaller brush go back to your uh 
your brush there make sure it's on a negative right and maybe a little bit smaller brush yeah something like that and then maybe intensity up so we can get some cutting going on and then just kind of go around his nose to make it more pronounced so you're just kind of making that nose more like it's you know there you know, i mean distance on it right it's kind of like protruding from the rest of his snout and you can play around with that you can even make that nose a little bit smaller if you like uh you know go to a little bit higher ball Woo! no 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 let's see if i can undo that yeah <laughs> uh let's go to our smooth here so we're on smooth Turn that down a little. We don't want it eating up everything and just kind of go around and smooth up what we just kind of cut on. So his nose has got a little pronunciation there, right? And we'll go back to our uh, brush and we'll make our brush smaller this time and we'll bump up the intensity. And there's that little thing right under his nose, right, that comes down. So we'll make that cut, and then we'll just make his mouth. Put a big old smile on him. It is Valentine's Day, right? <laughs> All right, and then we'll go back to our brush, kind of make it not so strong, make our brush a little bit bigger. It's just, uh, and then there you go. And there he has a little indentation, right? You can play, I mean, like I said, this is just going to be uh, uh, real quick. Uh, the eyebrow looks like, yeah, there we go. Yeah, uh, a little bit, let's undo that one. Let's turn it down a little over the eyebrow. Yeah, and like I said, you can play around with it uh, quite a bit to, to get it. It's just... Uh, You know trying to define everything so you know like right in here you'd want to go around his leg here make this piece a little bit more defined and let's get a better look on this angle here just go around here cut that so it's more defined Kind of keep an eye on the other one here. Go around this one. I mean, it, it takes time. Uh, this Something like this, you know, the longer you take on it, the more detail you're going to get out of it, and, and the better it's going to be. I'm just kind of really rushing through it. <laughs> and then we'll go back to our brush here. We'll kind of bump it up a little bit turn the intensity down we don't need it so strong and just kind of smooth it off a little that's way too big and way too strong there we go that's much better that side there so it, you know you can see a little difference there and you can just smooth it out uh and you can you can just keep on playing around with it but uh i just kind of wanted to show off how to do it and you know because so, most people when they're they're <laughs> it's kind of cute actually uh most people when they're working on it uh you know they see before you do the sculpting and they're thinking oh gosh and they just delete it right well if you take some time with it you can you can really uh really come up with something really pretty cool and pretty nice uh so you know i hope the video kind of gives you a little more explanation of uh what uh clay you can do uh let's see we'll take this one is that the one we made or is that the, that's the first one okay we'll hide that one and we'll give it a little shading turning to and uh, take him turning to well i should have you know i like I said, it was just real quick, but it, it kind of looks kind of cute. 
Uh, let's see, let's turn him to yellow. Now, there's a lot you can do with this. Uh, so I, I recommend, you know, at least uh, checking it out and playing around with it. It does, it is, you know, his hair. You could go through there and do that to his whole body, you know, all his, where he has hair coming out, you know, uh, little indentations, then pinch it together uh, and then go over it. Uh, but hopefully, you know, this gives you a little idea of what uh, uh, emboss can do. Uh, and then also the, the height field, the pictures, uh, if you use black and white images, we'll do that at another time. But uh, I hope this kind of gives you, you know, like I said, an idea. And uh, if so, please uh, hit that subscribe, like, and uh, leave a comment. Uh, thanks for watching. Nice charm or pendant, maybe some earrings. <laughs> Have a good day. Good designing.